Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be providing detailed information on how you can test the web application or a given website. So I'll be providing complete details about this website testing or web app testing. I will be covering some of these important topics in this video. One is what is all about web application. The second topic I will be covering in this uh, video is architecture of a web application. And the third topic is how web application really works is a third topic which I will be covering in this video. And fourth one is what are the different testing types will be used while testing the web application. That is the fourth agenda I will be covering in this video. And the fifth agenda for this video is I will be providing detailed test scenarios for each testing type with few examples. What is web application? Web application as per Wikipedia definition, it is a software that runs on a web server. Web server is a software which hosts the web application. The application which runs on this web server is called as a web application. The web application can be accessed using a web browser. You can access the web application via an active network. Active network can be your internet or it can be your LAN or it could be any other network. This web application is designed with the architecture client server. Some of the example for this web application are your Gmail, your Yahoo, these are also web application. Even your Google search is also a web application. Similarly, we have a Amazon, Flipkart, and even the banking uh, platform like your Citibank, your SBI Bank, or uh, American Express Bank. These are also some of the examples of a web application. Let us understand the overall architecture of a web application and how it works. The web application is designed either using a two-tier architecture or a three-tier architecture. Web application architecture is designed in a three-tier architecture. Three-tier architecture is nothing but this is a client side, this is one tire and this is a web server this is an another tire and the uh, one more tire is the backend tire or third party services tire which is third tire the left side is a client side the client side is here will be accessing the web application using a browser so we will be opening up the browser and you will be entering a url Suppose if I enter gmail.com, so I'll be opening a URL in the browser, I'll be entering gmail.com, then there is a HTTP request will go to the server side. In the server side, we have two components. One is front end component and second one is back end component. The front end component, when I enter gmail.com then immediately we get a page where it asks for username and password that is the presentation layer so whenever the request we send we get a web page where i can enter all the details after entering username and password what happens again it sends back to the back end the back end is consisting of a business logic layer and the back end can be your SQL, your Oracle, your Ingress or any kind of database in that matter. Now we understood what are the various components available in this web application architecture. Now when the request goes from client to a server side, let's say if I enter username and password, it is getting checked in the database. After entering username and password normally where it goes in Gmail, it goes to home page of email. That's where the new page pops up in the browser which is a home page of the application so this is how the overall uh, web application architecture really works now we will try to understand what are the different types of uh, testing we normally do as part of web application testing or a website testing is 
first one is we will be validating the content and the second thing is we will be performing a functional testing plus integration testing as well and the third type of testing is ui testing and the fourth is database testing and the fifth type of testing is compatibility or a configuration testing and next one is security testing and performance testing so these are the different types of uh, testing we normally do as part of web application or a website testing now we will try to understand in depth of each of these testing type the first testing we will go in depth is the content validation the first thing we will have to do validation here is we will have to ensure that there is no syntax errors there is no typo errors and the second stuff is we will have to maintain the accuracy of the information which is present in your website structure of the content which is getting displayed in the website is also to be a more of a human readable format in the functional testing what are the various things we test here is the first thing you will be doing here is we will be testing all kinds of links in a given web page we will be verifying all the outgoing links from the given pages to ensure that it is taking to the right right place it has to go to the right address when we click on that outgoing links so next thing is we will be testing the internal links as well and the third is so we will be testing all the links within the same page we should also verify the page not found issues or broken link issues also we should validate it we should ensure that there is no javascript error each page is adaptable for search engine optimization so next type of uh, functional testing we have to perform is the forum field validation for example registration page registration page we may have many fields it may have different text box we have a date field we we'll have to ensure that each element each ui field is getting validated as part of this functional testing and each field is also validated for a default values as well we should verify all the correct one and the wrong inputs provided to those input to see that whether it gets the right error messages or it pops up the any unknown issues or it may throw exceptions everything we should get validated by entering both valid and invalid input we should ensure that all the images which are displayed in our web pages is having the right display should happen right format should be there and right right size of the images also should display and also you should verify any copyright images are getting uploaded in the websites and we should also ensure that right fonts are used right and right size of the fonts also chosen whenever i click on print option in the browser then it should get a right format of that content in a printable format we should also ensure that default error pages are implemented and deployed in our web server such as 400 uh, error page 401 error page 402 error page 403 error page and 404 error pages there are few things which require to be validated at the server side let's like say user registration or anything related to data where i should be get validated both from the client side as well as server side also cookies are small files which are stored your session details your login details in those files which normally which are encrypted format in this case we should verify your web application with uh, cookies enable and disable in your browser and we should also verify what happens certain cookies are expired and you should also perform after logging into the web application if i am going and deleting a cookies from your desktop uh, folder then what happens how your web application really works well so next type of testing we do here is database testing for a web application whatever the operation which we perform on the ui front whatever data which we entered in those form is the same data is getting reflected in the database or not we should go and validate those table to see whether data we entered in this form is really reflected in those tables or not and also we should verify for the data integrity between the web pages and databases and the third one is we should also verify whether data is getting committed to the database 
only after performing the commit operation. Before doing a commit operation, if the overall operation fails, then it should roll back to the original state. The next type of testing we should perform here is for each field which we have in web page, we should try with all the minimum and maximum uh, values, floating values, integer values. You should be able to try all valid and invalid data to see how the data is getting stored in the databases. Sometimes it happens that data type is defined in certain way in the databases, but when I try to enter different types of data types in the UI elements, then lot of exceptional error messages it get thrown. So those validations also you should perform as part of this database testing in your web application. Verify radio buttons, check boxes, drop down list. Whenever we selected different these options in your web page appropriately, the data also required to be stored in your database against these fields. You should also verify the different table constant which are created as per the requirements such as primary key, foreign key. Next type of testing here is the compatibility testing. In this compatibility testing, you will be testing your web application across different platforms, different browsers, different operating systems, different set of devices. It could be your monitor, it could be mobile screens, or it could be different browsers, or it could be different third party softwares, you should ensure that your web application really works seamlessly without having any issues. Next type of testing we perform here is security testing. The security testing main intention for performing security testing in web application is to ensure that no unauthorized person can access your content in your website. Plus, you should also ensure that right people get the access. We should also ensure there is no gaps or issues available in your website or web application that leads to lot of vulnerability or anybody can go and breach the web application by performing an unauthorized access by doing a different way of hacking the your website. Those things also you have to be perform as part of your security testing. Your security testing will be required to perform both client side and server side as well. Of security testing, so we'll be testing uh, by using these cookies which are stored in your local computer. Using these cookies, can I get uh, unauthorized access to your web application? Those validations you should make. Also, you should uh, performing a authentication verification from both client and server. Then we'll see what are the different test scenarios which we can perform as part of this security testing. One is we'll be copying, pasting certain internal URL. Let's say after login, I can go to the browser, I can copy paste certain uh, full length URL and I can put it in the different browser. I should say this is a wrong URL. Those validations also you should make. Then the second validation you should make here is after login, certain URLs are associated with the username certain uh, IDs. If I change those IDs, some user names in the URL, is it going to take you to access some other person's information? That kind of validation also you should perform as part of the security testing. Then you should also ensure that by giving all different valid and invalid input to see whether I can still breach your application by combination of different uh, username and uh, password. And also as part of your web application, there are certain features like downloads. Certain downloads can be accessed only particular persons. I should be able to give access to the particular folder in the web directory for a particular resources only. If other person is trying to access those downloads, you should not be able to download it. Specifying the capture feature, especially if somebody is trying to access your application in a more of an automated way or via bot, then there is also a mechanism of utilizing the captcha in your web application that helps you to uh, get away with all these bots or automated operations for your web application. You should also test for secured uh, socket layer uh, protocol. You should have a transaction history of all the operation which we perform in a given web application to see what kind of errors are 
tracking, what is the security breaches are happening, what are the different logs are uh, getting tracked. Everything I should be get uh, tracked in the log files, performance testing. So what is all about performance testing in a web application is, this is a test to perform to ensure that any performance issues comes out uh, when we are operating on the web application in order to see whether application really performing in uh, standard conditions or are it really behaving abnormally that you will be required to be tested as part of your performance testing. Performance testing can degrade uh, due to various issues. One is a lack of server side resources, maybe lack of memory, lack of CPU, lack of hard disk issues. We may get into performance issues. Then you should also get into a performance issue because of network bandwidth or different conditions in the network uh, conditions. Then your performance issues can happen due to because of database issues. Database can be just because of software. It may happen that the queries which are written or used in your application which are not optimized then will get a performance issues as well. That's where you should require to be fine tuning those SQL queries to get a better performance. Testing this performance testing in two ways. One is via load testing. In the load testing, we'll try to put a specific load for a specific requirements to see for those users, those transaction and those data loads, how the application is really behaving that will be performed using load testing. Then we'll also perform a stress testing. Stress testing we normally perform by putting a load continuously to validate how long your application can take that uh, load or it can stress the application up to what extent that will be getting validated as part of your stress testing. While performing these uh, different types of testing in performance testing, we will be getting certain uh, answers as well as part of this performance testing. We will get an answer like um, uh, when your website really getting degrades whether your uh, website gets degrades gradually for certain load or certain stress, your application shuts down abruptly. That also you have to be required to be validated. And also to see there is a failure happens as part of this test testing or load testing, whether end user really gets the right message or completely application shuts down without giving any error messages or any messages to the end user. That is very bad, especially if your web application suddenly goes down or your web application suddenly crashes while doing certain operation, then you can imagine the customer feedback there. While performing different stress testing and load testing, we'll see any transaction is getting completely lost or any data is getting lost because of uh, these performance issues. Is there any data integrity issues are there as part of these performance issues? I am hoping you guys got a clear idea now what is all about a website, what are the different architecture of your website, what are the different types of testing we'll have to perform for your website. If you guys really like this video, then please give a thumbs up to this video. If you guys are not subscribed, then do subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.